Hello, my name is Peter Engel and I'm the solution owner of SAP Intelligent Robotics Process Automation. Today I would like to show you how to automate your Outlook inbox with Intelligent RPA. Therefore, I have prepared something. First, I created three emails in the Outlook folder 02 RPA Outlook. Each of these emails has three attachments, one attachment PDF attachment, one XLS attachment and one picture. The subjects are test 1, test 2, test 3. In addition, I created also two folders on my machine, one for the Excel attachments and one for the PDF attachments. Later in the process, I want to ignore the pictures. To build this automation, I logged on to the SAP Intel Vortex Process Automation Cloud Factory and therefore I go to, the, go to the project tab and create a new project. If I create the project, I move from the Cloud Factory to the Cloud Studio. In the Cloud Studio, then I can create my automation. I click on Create Automation, select the version of my desktop agent and create the automation and give her the name Outlook. During the creation of the automation I can find the Outlook activities on the right side. If I search for Outlook, I see all Outlook activities which are available. To create our automation where I searched in my inbox for my emails and then save the attachments in these two folders, first of course I have to open Outlook. The second step is search for the emails. To search for the emails, I have to create search criteria. First, I want to search in the subject, then I say it's like something and it's like test. Yeah? So the system should later find also test 1, test 2, test 3. I'm searching in the folder 02 RPA Outlook and the folder type is an inbox. I save the criteria. Now, after I have found the criteria, or I have defined the criteria and searched for the email, the next step is what should I do with the data. Therefore, normally I get also more than uh, one email with the search, I go to the logics and controls and take the forever control. This means we create a loop which runs forever as or so long as the condition is not false. To check if I have more than one or if I have found something, I go back to the Outlook activities and there we have to search in the context activities. In these context activities, there is a contact, is an activity, is there no context current email? This means that we have nothing found. So we check then also the condition, if the condition true or false. And here we can go to the condition expression, say best matches. And then if the condition is true, the system exits the loop. If the condition is false, we go to the default folder, uh, the default path. In the default path, we have of course save the attachments. I use save all attachments 
two times, one for Excel and one for PDF. Yeah. I change the name here. Save Excel testments and then I have to maintain the path where I want to store the attachments and I want to have to say here in the, in the extensions to keep which ex, uh, files and on this which extension I want to store here in my folder later. This is then for the Excel one. And of course, for the PDF, I have to do the same. And here I search for the PDF. After I searched, after I saved the uh, attachments, I want to get the subjects of the emails to show you that we have found something. And therefore, I would also to write a log message. And in the log message, I use the output parameter from the get subject. It's subject. I say it's type info the message and I give them a label result. After I have done this, I have to go back to the Outlook activities because we have to move now in the context to the next email. That is then the last step in our automation. So we have to Outlook the, have to open the Outlook instance. We search for emails with the subject test like test. We have the loop to work on all the emails we get out of the search. We have the exit of the loop with the condition if there is something, if nothing in the uh, found in the context. And we have the activity save Excel attachment, save PDF attachment, get subject from the email, log message, write the log message with the subject in it, and then go to the next email. And last but not least, we can release Outlook to have a secure end of the automation. Now we have to save this automation. And we can test it on my machine. The desktop agent is now configuring. And then the system sends the executable code to the desktop agent. So that the desktop agent locally execute this automation and search in my inbox. Now the automation is started. You see the open Outlook instance is opened. We are searching now the emails. It could be take some time because there are a lot of emails. Now we found the emails and wrote the emails in the folders, attachments for Excel attachments, PDF attachments, and write the log messages and release also the Outlook instance at the end. If you show here in the info, one of the infos, we see result subject test one, test two, test three. And also we should find now the attachments here in the folder. Let us look for the Excel attachments. There are three Excel attachments. 
and of course three PDF attachments and we ignore the pictures. So I hope I could show you how easy it is to build an automation to automate your Outlook inbox, to search something, to store the attachments and so on. It takes only 10 minutes to build this automation and the automation is now ready to run for everybody in your company you have access to SAP Intelligent Robotics Process Automation. I hope you enjoy this short demo and try it out on our, with our trial version, which you find on the SAP Cloud Platform, where you can get a 12 months trial to test out our solution. Thank you.